Today I have come to St. Marie among the Hurons. Men were warriors, hunters, fishers, clearers of land, and trade missionaries had been a part of the French presence in Canada. But it was the work of members of the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, that was to have such a profound effect on the Indian way of life. This museum is really cool. They have a lot of uh, ancient artifacts that I guess they found when they uh, started the reconstruction process and uh, so they found after it was burnt down and then rebuilt. Uh, anyways, some real neat stuff. Check it out. So sleepy. Look at me, so sleepy. You should come out to our first light. Oh, yes? The sea is something else. Oh, really? Yeah, we're open um, the last weekend in November, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. You should bring your employees. Yeah. It's 10 bucks to get in with non-perishable food items. There's over 10,000 10, candles at Lake Site. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, that and would there's be... There's entertainment, we're full staff. Oh, wow. We have people coming to help us do it. When yeah. does that start? The end of November, third, the last Thursday night of November. So we start Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And it runs for how long? We're doing it three weekends this year. Okay. Right till December 10th. Yeah? And the Martyr Shrine's joining us this year. Oh, excellent. So I don't know what they're up to. But you can get a little flyer um, of that ticket booth. Okay. Yeah. Or keep your brochure. Well, we're all well advertised. And um, it's a must-see if you've never seen it. Yeah. And that's the only time we open to the general public in the winter. Oh, is that right? Just those three weekends. Oh, I'll definitely check it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's cool. Well, thanks again. Yeah, you too. This would be your traditional Native American longhouse. Let's take a look inside. It's another uh, smokehouse where uh, they don't have the fire going this time. It's a big bear pelt, looks like. And uh, they've got the corn up here drying. And a lot of deer hides. It's dark in here, but the, uh, the camera's picking it up pretty good. So there's a fish trap. An old pair of snowshoes, looks like, and a fishing net. Here's where they uh, have their fire in here. It really smells like smoke. A beaver pelt being dried.
and then out the back door. This is really cool, like it's rubber. Kind of got a rubber roofing that looks like big slabs of birch bark. Wonder how hard that stuff is to find. This is inside the chapel. And that is quite the fireplace. But you'll see there's not a lot of insulation. And you gotta be warm for church. So they had a type of water system through here. A canal or channel. Looks pretty dry right now. series of these uh, draw bridges I guess you'd call it that they can raise and lower and uh, control the flow of the water there's others back there you'll see too this looks like one of the residences for the priests have a little peek inside the window and you will see some robes and a Bible and his bed, a nice size room. There's another room here, looks like another bedroom. Little table for his computer, and a little cot, 350 a month, should take care of. This is a hollowed out log used for pounding corn into flour. Hello ladies. This would be the egg part. We saw the bacon earlier. So there you have it, the St. Marie Among the Hurons video. I uh, really enjoyed myself up there this afternoon and uh, was not busy at all. There was maybe 10 people there uh, and two or three staff. So uh, great opportunity to just uh, wander around, see the whole place. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, like, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>